metal there. So that's, that's the fun of it. What really fueled my passion around this is once you start crossing certain boundaries, like connecting certain other passions like photography with this, um, it became for me a network of passions that was very deeply rooted. And this is why now I'm at a point where uh, I don't think I can go back anymore. It was our crew here Fly Fishing Nation and it was Isaiah, uh, outdoor photographer from Patagonia, which I, which I admire. I love his work. Uh, it was a great honor to meet him here. And it's funny how one party is chasing lights and, and images, the other party is chasing salmon, and then I'm the, the bastard right in the middle chasing both salmon and light. I got into photography by fishing, so that was my way to get in. And over the time I had to choose. I've been trying so many times to do both at the same time and it's totally impossible for me. I've been asked by, by people who doesn't fish, who doesn't fly fish, and they were asking me like, what's the moment on fly fishing photography? What you're chasing at? At the first I started trying to explain and, and I was like thinking, how do I explain? After a while I, I just realized, well, the first you gotta do is go and learn how to fly fish and, and do it yourself and experience what you feel and then you'll find what you're chasing at. And that's gonna be the way to express it too. It's like any art, I guess. If you're trying to express something you're not leaving, it's not that easy or sometimes you never get there. You know, every new place I go to, every new place I meet, once you've been there enough to know what's it like there, what's the fishing, what's everything around photography, I kind of got fulfilled with that. But the Ponoi, this is kind of the call of the Ponoi. <laughs> it's one of those places that even being there before, for some reason made me come over and over and still have that feeling that makes me wish to come back. What many people I think are afraid of is not catching a fish, but this is not what it's all about. Um, and I think when you do it the first time you will see it because I didn't catch a fish the first time I did it and I stuck to it. It's about the community, about the people that share the same passion that come all the way to the river and spend a whole week or two or maybe a whole summer to do it. And um, this is why I think salmon fishing itself is such a, a deeply rooted community.